And now the recording's back, too. If you're watching this in the future on the recorded version, please know that my screen just blue screened and I lost 40 minutes of explanation and setup. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Let's get moving. Oh my God. The French and the British are rivals? Oh! They hate each other! Whoa! Speaking of rival, actually. Aw! Mexico's literally too weak to be my rival! Oh man. Anyway, Worcester versus Georgia. President Andrew Jackson has defied the ruling of the Supreme Court and ordered the removal of the Cherokee people to the Indian Territory. What does the Supreme Court's opinion matter? All we need to do is build a fire under them, and when it gets hot enough, they'll move, and what's ours will be ours. Is that even legal? I don't think it is. But hey, it's time for the Trail of Tears. Yippee! Thanks, buddy. What a stand-up guy. Anyway. We're kicking the Native Americans out, I guess. Because Mr. Jackson... Ooh! Is such a... Such a... Such a guy. Who loves people. Oh, city of plenty. Toss a coin to your witcher. Legality in the late 1800s? It doesn't exist. The most prominent members of New York High Society have been seen organizing luxurious parties in the new and lavish urban buildings. Marble walls, shimmering stone. The noise of people coming and going brings the city back to life. When we didn't even know it was dead, tall buildings cover the sunset. Kids play with bricks, smoke blends with the clouds. A distant bell announces the next train. Progress is coming. We can choose to let them celebrate, which will make the, the rich and middle class, the upper and middle class in New York more loyalist, or the party will never end, which will make them more loyalist, but for the next nine years, they need to have a higher standard of living for the rich. I'm not delivering on that promise. Let them celebrate. I'll take the boost in loyalists. John Ross's protest petition. Chief John Ross, one of the principal Cherokee chiefs, has presented a petition to Congress asking them to void the treaty, which will compel the Cherokee Nation to relocate to the Indian Territory. His petition has almost as many signatures as the entire Eastern Cherokee population. At least we get to see some action. Yeah! I guess the good thing is you don't have to sit through the 40 minutes of explanation in the future. So we get to actually see the game be played. By the stipulations of this treaty, we are stripped of every attribute of freedom. Our property may be plundered before our eyes. Violence may be committed on our persons. Why is my actual mouse freaking out? Okay. Weird. Even our lives may be taken away and there is none to regard our complaints. We are denationalized. We are disfranchised. We are deprived of membership in the human family. We have two, two choices. A treaty is a treaty. We cannot rescind what we have signed. Which basically says, uh, get fucked. Would you make the southern planters happy for five years? Or... We can... We, our conscience compels us to void the removal treaty, which will piss off the, the southern planters, but will also stop the native removal. The southern planters hate us. Yes. Fuck. If I get a minus two to their opinion. They're going to they're going to decimate my economy. They will get their negative trait, which is noble privileges, which gives me minus 20% agriculture tax, 
minus 20% ranching tax and minus 20% plantation tax. Just link this uh, stream on the VOD if people really want to see what they're I'll do it, don't worry about it. And most people watching Victoria content at this point anyway, they know what's up. And there goes my internet for a little bit. <laughs> ah! There goes, uh, it dipped again. Oh, I'm just back and it dipped again. All right. I'm going to ignore it. We're just going to keep going. How much? Wish I could see where the where these were coming from, like agriculture, ranching and all. And yeah, why is it dropping and, and jumping back? That's weird. I think I can take the tax reduction. I think I can take the tax reduction and do the right thing. I don't think my economy will be boned. Why is my internet dipping? Oh my god. What's my rate set to? Yeah, that's what it's set to. You know, let me... Turn it down a little bit. Yippee. Anyway. We can void the removal treaty. So I will. Screw you! Screw you, Southern planners. They get to stay. Wow, that did nothing to our economy. <laughs> get boned! Screw the aristocracy. It's not a shortage of iron, though. Our trade route hasn't hasn't really started growing yet. It'll take a, it'll take a while for the trade route to fully ex to fully grow to cover the problems. Just print more money, Lamau. I mean, you can basically do that through minting. The bigger your economy is, the more your economy can just print money. <laughs> and once we get over here, we can start digging up gold, which allows us to literally print money. The abolition abolitionist's martyrdom. An ardent, ardent abolitionist writer died in a firefight against a pro-slavery mob which had gathered in front of his house. The story has gone national and radicalized previously apathetic individuals high and low. His friends sighed. The funeral had been small, lest the mob appear again in force. The gravestone itself was simple, not calling attention to itself. The only embellishment that had been allowed was a simple inscription. Here lies a brave man, now spare his grave. Ghastly, the violence of slavers must be hit, must be resisted, which will make Henry Clay an abolitionist. Or the abolitionist ag agitation must be stopped, which will make Winfield Scott a slaver. Who are you? He is a general, and I believe also the leader of the of the military of the 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 armed forces interest group. And Henry Clay is the leader of the intelligentsia. Intelligentsia. Who's already a pacifist, which I don't really want. So I'll turn him into an abolitionist. Hell yeah. So now the entire Whig party is united on abolitionism. So if they get in power, hmm, are we spending, we are not spending our authority on bolstering or suppressing anybody so we can just collect our collect our taxes and go about our day speaking of taxes and economy I think we can improve our construction a bit more as well build another four construction sectors in New York and let that go Guatemala oh wait look at this look at what the hell is that flag Anyway, it's Guatemala. Hello, Guatemala. I'm surprised that they popped out of Central America first. Seeing as like normally they're like the last ones. 
So we'll see Central America, it, it quickly deteriorates into all of the smaller states that are there now, which seems to be going on. And the East India Company has decided that they want to be friends, or they want to trade here in Mexico, which means that I can trade with them. Hello, buddy. You want to buy my steel? No. I don't want to buy my hard wood. <laughs> yes. Sell the British my my hard wood. My GDP doing kind of tipping off there a little bit. But once my once my construction sectors get up, it'll probably start moving a little bit faster. Discord for within the intelligentsia. Oh no. Wait, this might be helpful. An influential faction within the intelligentsia has grown frustrated with their co-members' neutrality on the topic of dedicated police force. Themselves in favor of the law, they have now resolved to form a separate political faction intent on passing it. How can you all stand idly by and watch the world pass before your eyes? Have you no sense of honor? Of duty to your fellow man? I say nay to such lack of ambition, and I dare say I am not alone in this. Would their support the bill shall pass? We're losing intelligence, yeah, I don't want that. But it'll increase the success chance of the bill. I do want that. Or we can put them, we can make even more intelligentsia leave and grow the military. I don't want that. Or it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, but I want people, I want there to be more people in the intelligentsia, so we'll take the less reduction in their numbers and the higher success rate for the dedicated police force. Conquer state in North Africa. France has started a conquer state play against Constantine. I love that movie. Yeah, the French are uh, about to bully a bunch of the Algerian uh, states here. As they, you know, like to do. They're France. They can't help it. I don't know, I think that'll be good for input goods. Yeah, I know iron. Why'd the British convoy go down again? All right. I'm buying from Chile and Brazil as well. The Finney Proviso. Proviso. Charles Finney, a leader of the evangelicals, has proposed outright prohibiting slavery in all our new western territories some opponent, opponents demand simple moderation but others are demanding legalization of legalization of slavery in all new territories this intolerable institution cannot spread its influence any further a free nation needs free soil if it is to thrive reject it <laughs> it's just a disappointing compromise leave it state by state Little green text pops up in the top left. Everyone hated that. Obje uh, accept the proviso and abolish slavery, which everyone except the planters will like, or expand slavery, and only the planters will like that. Get out of here! Ban that slavery. Ooh, and our migration attraction is up because the we've made the intelligentsia love us enough. No, I am not role-playing as, <laughs> as, uh, fucking Andrew Jackson or whatever. This guy's an asshole. Also, Texas won! Because they captured Santa Ana. Tex Texas has captured the Mexican general Santa Ana, who has used his personal power to negotiate an end to the Texan independence war. Hello, Mr. David Burnett. Everyone hates him. Wow. Wait, why am I not in... in why am I not increasing relations with these guys? Stop talking to Spain. This is one of the first things I wanted to do, was talk to these guys. 
Stop talking to the Dutch. You give money too. I have to make up for lost time. <clears throat> so that we can get Texas statehood. Yeah, we need 20 relations. I thought I set that up forever ago when we started. I'm too dumb. Uh, <laughs> Alan dumb. Looks like our standard of living is pretty decent. Better than southern Spain at the very least, or southern France at the very least. Well, a lot of Russia is not very good. Actually, did they change how this works recently? Because a lot more of the world is in green standard of living than used to be. Popular playwright endorses reform. In the midst of debates surrounding dedicated police force, one of the country's leading playwrights, strongly associated with the petite bourgeoisie, has staged a widely acclaimed play whose politically laden theme makes no secret of the author's desire for the law to be passed. The man's viewpoints may be somewhat partisan, but sir, you cannot argue with his prose. We, can, we dedicated police force will be on everyone's lips now, which will give us an extra 10% for success. That's good. This puts the petite bourgeoisie in a good light, which will give the petite bourgeoisie more pot, more people. More, pop, uh, more power, basically, for the next t five years. Or we can get plus 20 prestige, which makes our country seem cooler. I want the success chance. Should add French in the content warning. Well, that's just a given. Expect the French to always be a problem. A torrent of gin and beer. Wow, we are getting event after event after event. The patriotic party, the military, Patriotic, patriotic Party's anti-alcohol policy is hurting their electoral prospects as scores of thirsty voters flock to the Whig Party, hoping that a change in government will see an end to the country's temperance policies. Resist temptation? I'll tell you what tempts me. Shoving this boot here up your moralizing teetotalers you know wheres. I want a drink. I'll have a drink. And if you shan't let me, I'll go to those that will. No beer, no vote! Which will add 30% momentum to the Whig Party. Or we can run a smear campaign, which will decrease momentum for the Patriotic Party and increase momentum for the Whig Party. I didn't realize we were in an election here. Wow. The Democrats are going to win by a landslide. And two to one, it looks like. The Patriotic Party is not really a threat. So we are going to increase momentum for the Whig Party substantially. Give them actual positive momentum. And you'll see them jump up here. Yeah. This will severely increase the power of the... of the uh, abolitionists. I didn't even realize that an election had started. I wish there was a pop-up for that. Instead of having to look down here whenever that happens. The patriotic party does have positive momentum. You're hoping that this, this good, this, uh, can help empower the abolitionists. This election, that is. How's our construction going? We're building our paper mills and we're finally getting to our iron mines. Hell yeah. What are our private constructions doing? They are building a furniture factory in Pennsylvania. I've not heard this song. This feels like Sims music, like Sims 1 shop music. I love it. <laughs> yeah, uh, your people themselves can fund and build as well as you. 
Also, why does Pennsylvania have a construction malice? What's going on here? Ah, uh, it's because of the mountains. Because of Appalachia. Appalachia? 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 Who knows? Could be any of those, really. Hmm. Do I have a navy? I do. Hmm. I do need to conquer some places. Because I need a 100 states. No one will come to their defense. Invade Haiti. Not yet, I think. I think we should actually boost our military first. Get our New York and Pennsylvania militias up. I'll progress to study. Hey! Second, second stage of the dedicated police force. Is there a time limit? 100 years is the base game. It runs from 1836, January 1st, to December 31st, 1935. We have a ton of time. The thing is, um, there's this thing called infamy. Which basically, when you take aggressive actions, this will go up and it'll go down over time. Whenever you de declare war, it jumps up and then it'll decline. If it gets to it, the higher it gets, the less friendly other people will be to you. And if it gets too high, they may just declare war on you. So optim optimally, you will be constantly engaging in military action like a little bit a little bit a little bit that's this question multiple times it wasn't sending for some reason uh oh hopefully there's not a problem on your end as well bum ba -da -da -dum, bum bum ba -da -da -dum, bum ba -dum, bum bum Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is a nice song. What is this called? Chance of success. Ah, it's because I'm passing a lot of me things. Just YouTube being YouTube. Yeah, it's been really weird. YouTube has been really weird this week. All right, the election is over. Looks like the Democrats are going to win. Yep. Yeah, they're basically, that's basic, they, they win. Well, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I don't think we have any Conversion because we have total set total separation. I don't think we have conversion And the people that are that are have the same heritage which is basically Europeans will convert 
and everyone else is uh, not being uh, not they're, they're uh they're, they're, they're not treated very well should be a in a show for for small children well like a like a kids like educational show I can see that. Leading Iowa. Oh my. Normally it's Kansas. Abolitionists and proponents of slavery have been pouring into Iowa, hoping to shape the territory's government to their liking. Paramilitary groups have been begun committing acts of violence against each other and civilians. Before God and in the presence of these witnesses, from this time, I consecrate my life to the destruction of slavery. The crimes of this guilty land can never be purged away but with blood. Border ruffians cannot dictate law. Iowa must be a free state. Or Jayhawkers do not decide what is right. Iowa will be a slave state. So it'll remain a free territory or a small number of slaves will move to Iowa. I want. I have to listen to that music on a daily basis. <laughs> I was, uh, I've been there. I want it to be a free state. Screw you guys, get out of there. But to be. Heckin' slavers. It looks like the, uh, their, cl their cloud is naturally decaying over time anyway. Everyone's cl cloud is decaying. The military's has increased a little bit. t bourgeois is going up. Oh, ugh. The unions got completely blasted because no one voted for them because they didn't run. So they have no, no uh, government authority. Hey, we're voting on the on the on the law now. This should take a an axe right to the kneecaps of the southern planners. At least a little bit. It won't do a whole it won't get rid of them, but it'll hurt. I actually do want to be friends with Russia too, but we don't know we don't know each other exist because you can buy Alaska from them. All right, how's my military looking? All right, that's a bit better. Should I Dominion or puppet them? Dominions are like weaker puppets. They don't join your wars and they don't pay you as much money. Who needs Haiti in a war anyway? I don't think Haiti would really help. So yeah, let's, dim let's dominionize Haiti. Mobilize Winfield Scott here. You should be fearful. Leading Haiti. Spain. Spain. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking, don't you make fucking do it, buddy. I'm gonna mobilize all my generals just in case. I outnumber you two to one, Haiti. Just back down. Just back down, bro. Just back down. Oh, hey. Production technology cost has gone down. Nice. Why am I still making so much money? Well, let's increase our military and government wages. And then we can tax porcelain. Hell yeah. More money. <laughs> I 
God, I have so much. Lowering taxes isn't a thing. I wish I had that issue, right? Like, we are actually making too much money. Like, it's starting to become a problem. God, I wish I could say that about real life. Rousing speech captivates the public. This afternoon, Winfield Scott, leader of the armed forces, delivered a fiery speech advocating for the enactment of the dedicated police force. Making an appearance before the public in Washington's main square, Winfield Scott's powerful rhetoric left even his most embittered political opponents impressed. Excerpts from the speech are already being circulated across the United States of America, banning the fires of an already roaring debate. Empower the military. Who literally do not care about this whole thing that's going on. Or just make it super easy. You know, empowering the military might actually draw a little bit from the rural folk, but it also draw from other people as well. Well, no, because I know a lot of the power base of the rural folk are also capable of becoming military, military supporters of the military. So this will hurt the rural folk most, I believe, over time. And we want that. It won't do a whole lot. But it'll hurt a little bit. Every little bit helps. Texan statehood. Texas has won its independence from Mexico and now seeks statehood within the United States of America. The people of Texas haven't, at the time of adopting their constitution, expressed by an almost unanimous vote their desire to be incorporated into the Union of the United States, and being still desirous of the same with, un with equal unanimity in order to provide more effect effectually for their security and prosperity in the United States, actuated solely by the desire to add to their own security and prosperity, and to meet the wishes of the government and the people of Texas, have determined to accomplish, by treaty, objects so important to their mutual and permanent welfare. Welcome to America! Nom 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 nom. Delicioso. Like stubbing your toe, yeah! Welcome to the party, Texas incorporate you actually do I have any unincorporated states I should work on that huh get Florida Arkansas Iowa Wisconsin and Michigan actually incorporated into the United States instead of being territories Wow well they didn't back down But they didn't get Spain in either. Works for me. To arms! To arms! All right, Isaac Hull. Drop there with Winfield Scott. And you go there with Thomas Jessup, Mr. Eli Augustus Frederick Lava Lavayette. Nice. Is this following actual her uh, history? Uh, it's like a historical sandbox where things are set up, like at the start, to be generally historic. And things kind of try to progress along that route, but divergences can appear. Like, you know, the American invasion of Haiti, for example. <laughs> But it's trying to be generally sort of historic. But it ain't like a... It, it isn't like a full-on thing. Oh yeah, because Texas is gone, I can actually start being friends with people again. You go to Spain, you go to Netherlands, you my friends. Yippee. No ritual reports. Oh! Central America, the United States of Central America has imploded. Hello, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Nicaragua, Honduras, and El Salvador. 
and also Guatemala, but you were already there. Now, so this little bit over here, also known as uh, Chiapas. I don't know why they never, that always stays part of El Salvador. I don't know why. Anyway, I got my navies loading my soldiers onto boats. And we're going to invade both halves of Haiti at the same time. Hopefully, shouldn't be that big of a that big of a fight. Oh great! Now there's a tool shortage. Ah. Oh boy. Buy some from Argentina. Look at my production of them, and I increase my. I cannot increase my power. other than just by making more of them. So let's set that up for building later. Hey, successful invasion. In the east and in the west. Oh my God, we are crushing them. Oh my God. Mr. General Jean-Pierre Boyer, Boyer, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I'd say ten to, ten to one, but that ain't even that. <laughs> that ain't even that generous. Hey, dedicated police force. What the? Why are you in New England? Get down here. Take him 35 days, I think the war will be over by then. I don't know why that failed. But anyway. Dedicated police force. This will, in a little bit, you'll get to see the drop, the little bit of a drop in the southern planners. Let's see what else we can do here. Ooh, they will hate if I try to do universal suffrage. Literally no one wants multiculturalism ish. Are there any good laws I can move on to? Can't pa I can't ban slavery. Because I don't have the Whig party in power. It ain't no Democrat. N no Democrats are voting for that. We can become an agrarian country. <laughs> you want to become a far, a big old farming country? Nah, that's mostly good if you have a lot of arist aristocracy. We don't. Yes, hell yeah. BF4. Yeah, Going from interventionism to agrarianism makes your capitalists less productive and your arist aristocrats more productive. And they build mostly farms, which would make the, arist the landowners more powerful, which I do not want right now because I am trying to oppose them. But no one wants a laissez fam brought my hopes up only to be crushed. I'm sorry. Maybe one of these days will become a farming country. You can actually go in here. You can ban industry. <laughs> and just ban industrial production and become a purely farming country. It's hilarious. What's very funny is that when is when someone gets a revolution where the revolutionaries have this as an as a uh, as a goal, it'll wreck their economy. Because it'll de it'll destroy all of their factories. It's very funny. See, I want guaranteed liberty liberties, but no one else does. We could get a national guard. That won't really make anybody too upset. Anybody upset, and that'll give us a substantially larger military. Let's see if we can get National Guard going. 
Also, let's see how our institutions are doing. 131 per level. Let's increase our and our education and our law enforcement. And then go over here. Get our government administration. Let's see if we can increase the amount of bureaucracy that we have anyway. Oh, we can also increase our universities. Hell yeah. Oof. Look at that literacy. <laughs> oh my god. Ain't no one able to read and write. Ba -da. I'm glad to see Mr. Jessup here is still winning the war on his own, even though some bullshit happened. We've got that war. Now our inf we do have a little bit of infamy and it'll sl it'll very quickly go away. Then I think we can start going down here and grabbing some of these dudes too. Ba -da, ba -da. Oh, the Pawnee have launched a native uprising. The Pawnee are getting tired of us, uh, you know, invading their, their, their land. Let's wait to send troops to the front. They have nobody. If we win, we will colonize their land faster. And they ain't no way they're going to win. They have like two dudes. Let's wait for this to tick down a bit more because the longer your troops sit at the front, you'll start taking attrition. Even if they're not doing anything, even if the war isn't actually started, you'll start losing troops and resources and, and all that. So you want to wait for a bit. Also, we have fully taken Haiti. Welcome, Haiti. Look at, look at them now, they're blue. They hate me. <laughs> they just vibing, yeah, vibing on the front line. All right, let's send our troops over there now. You go sit on the border and wait for the war to kick off. We'll win, obviously. Crooked connections. Frustrated with the lengthy legal process surrounding National Guard, Winfield Scott of the Armed Forces has approached us with an offer to expedite the process, utilizing his personal connections within the state apparatus. A few words in the right to use is all I'm asking for. Everything within the bounds of the law, of course, although I cannot guarantee our opponents on this matter, will view such actions with much glee. Either make it go faster and piss off the intelligentsia, or we make it take longer. Ah, well, propagandist isn't that important anyway. Make it go faster. I don't expect National Guard to go through. But it's worth a try. Because that'll give us like an extra 300 battalions to, con to conscript during uh, big wars. Which would probably only be the UK. Oh my god, we have... We have a larger military than the United Kingdom. Is that a cat where it was in the game? I don't have a cat here. Oh my god, does the video game have cats? Monka is. Oh yeah, demobilization. That's a thing that you can do now. I forgot. How do I do that?
in character interaction menu. Oh, but I get I spend money to do that. Ah, whatever. Turns out I just need to turn my volume. Oh, did you hear a cat in your real life? I don't know why you don't just have that as a button on the military screen instead of having to go over here and tell them to demobilize. Why isn't there just a button like right here? Yeah, whatever. This game isn't known for its uh, great UI choices. The Fugitive Slave. A slave belonging to John Calhoun. Oh my God. Has escaped his estate and fled to a northern free state. Calhoun has demanded his return, but abolitionists are calling for his demands to be ignored. There are a few things that I care about more than justice. If a man loses his jacket, it's only natural it would be returned to him. Right? I simply ask, what's mine be returned to me? Why is this causing such an uproar? We shall find and return his slave, which will piss off everybody except for the, for the owners. Free soil makes anyone free. John Calhoun will get no help from the government. Which does literally nothing? It's also the correct choice, but it does nothing. Okay. I'll press the make no one mad button, I guess. I'm guessing that's a... Uh, not supposed to I'm guessing that's not supposed to do like that War with Pawnee is broken out all right time to roll them poor guys Speaking of war what am I infamy doing probably a secret stat well it tells you everything Let's fully upgrade my military to mill to modern equipment. Let's take a look at my market prices as well. Still need a ton of iron. People want tea. No one really wants to sell any. I really need to get on my industrial production here. For that, we need these tooling works workshops. Hey, law enactment. Wow, it actually made it to stage two. Oh my God. Welcome to 1938. We are devouring the Pawnee. Wow, look at these great graphics that my laptop can support. <laughs> the game is normally, like, actually extremely beautiful. Like on its map in City, it's normally very beautiful. But I have to run everything at the lowest graphics. Anyway, we win. We just have to wait for the Pawnee to give up. Which they will. Also, let's look at our journals. Manifest Destiny. We want nationalism to do that. And that'll give us a claim on all of this basically also our universities I want to increase my New York universities eventually get a better computer two more paychecks two more paychecks two more paychecks And I was just explaining why it looks like this for a game that released last year. Why it looks like this? Yeah, because I'm at, it's at minimum graphics. But this game is actually really pretty. Look up some like some of like the the art for the game. 
Like you go in here and you'll see like carts. You can still see that sometimes here. But like you'll see trains and stuff later on. See, watch here as, as this building can finishes construction. And I think we missed it because it was behind the lo the logo. But you can see buildings actually get um, like like be built. Also, we have a 15% increase in success chance. Hell yeah. What does Britain want? A trade agreement. How much do I make off tariffs for you? I don't know. Sure. Okay, that didn't really change anything. Sure, I'll be more. I'll be better friends with the with the UK. That basically makes it free for us to trade with each other. Which I guess is pretty cool. Well, right, let's be friends with Denmark and Sweden. I believe you said this game was released in 2016. <laughs> now, nah, Hoi 4 was released in like 2016. Actually, I think it was like 2015, wasn't it? And that game actually doesn't look bad either. All right. Now we have colonialization, colonial rights with the Pawnee, which means that we will Colonize faster. Speaking of colonization, is there... Oh, we can start colonizing here as well. Come up this side of the Comanche. Used to be that the United States could colonize up here through the Nietzsche Tapi and into the Iron Confederacy, and that would they would happen every game. And Canada wouldn't do anything, and you'd always have this weird, like, like bag hook on the United States. But they changed that where as well as a, as long as a country has an interest and a claim in a state, no one else that does not also have an interest and a claim can colonize there. So like, for example, the only people who have a claim on the Ainu Mosir, this northern part of Hokkaido, is Japan. So no one else can colonize here. Only Japan and Russia have claims on Sakhalin. So only one of them can colonize Sakhalin. Stuff like that. As opposed to having, like, the British own the north part of Hokkaido. Oh my god, it just jumped up to 44% success for National Guard? Well, so much for the... Oh, I'm sure this won't pass, but let's do it anyway, because it might give me more troops type, the, type deal. Sheesh. We have increased our education. Nice. More education access. And our law enforcement has increased. Hell yeah. Both very good for us. How's our tooling shortage looking? Well, we have addressed... Oh, look at that dip. <laughs> we addressed that something hard. All right, then. Now to get back on on upgrading our raw resources, which means we need some coal. And iron. I don't think we need that many in Massachusetts, but we need a lot of iron. Arn. Hey, nationalism has been unlocked. And what was the other thing we needed for Manifest Destiny? A, an interest in the Pacific Coast. And we can do that. Because we actually have... Because we have Haiti, we actually have a claim in the Caribbean, like, inherently now. Because we have a subject there. So let's put our claim on the Pacific Coast. We can declare Manifest Destiny. And then we can go bully Mexico. <laughs> How's that sound? 
Actually, do we need to be at peace for Manifest Destiny? No. We'll see how that goes. Because I want to actually puppet them. Nice, very nice. I'm looking forward to expanding our borders. How are you, GC, this fine evening? Yay, bullying, yeah! People who are weaker than us by an order of magnitude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Available decisions. It's time to manifest our destiny all over. Yippee! Look at all those claims. And another 15% to National Guard. <laughs> Bro. Fifth, three law enactment advances in, the, in a row. Jesus. See, I could one by one return state or and hear me out. Give, give it all to me. Give me. Me hungry. United States hungry. Want, want, sold, want soil. Want clay. Give me. Okay, we're going to make them a dominion, which makes them a puppet. Um, so they give us a little bit of money. And that's basically it. Um, and then later, later on, we can go back and actually annex them entirely for a lot cheaper. Only hope is that no that no one else joins them. Like the East India Company, that'd be a problem. Also, everyone's going to be very mad at us. <laughs> very, very mad at us. So let's stop talking to the Dutch because we need as much influence as we can get because if you have a bunch of bonus influence, it will decrease your infamy and the French have decided they hate us. Because they're mad that we want to eat Mexico. The philosoph the philosophy, the philosophy department. We have secured funding for philosophy departments in all of our institutions of higher learning. The University of New York has chosen to focus this funding on advanced, advancing Hegelian dialectics. You have to be very intelligent to understand dialectics. The method is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of continental philosophy, most of it will go over a typical undergraduate's head. There's also Hegel's master-slave dialectic, which is deftly woven into his work. His personal philosophy draws heavy on, heavily on Kantian literature, for instance. Hegelians understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depth of his work, to realize that it's not just logos. It says something deep about his life. The chatbot no longer has a delay. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it, it won't read anything for like 10 minutes and then it'll read everything from those 10 minutes at once and it'll just spam the screen. Thesis, antithesis, synthesis. Synthesis. So we get more university output from that. Don't really want the whaling industry. Patronize romanticism. Hey, our, our, our planters are no longer mad at us. Do we have any arts buildings? I don't. Do I have anybody living in the District of Columbia? No. <laughs> Sick. 
Yeah, let's build two in Ohio. Photosynthesis. Yeah, that's my favorite part of Hegelian dialectics. Probably increase our... Bureaucracy a little bit. I think I can afford to upgrade fully to level 5 law enforcement. Nice. Yeah, nice. France! No! He friends! And the British just broke my trade agreement, I think. Uh-oh. I think everybody's mad at me. Uh-oh. Trying to eat Mexico. Every oh, no! <laughs> Uh-oh! Great Britain just occurred rivalry! <laughs> Y'all can't stop me! If this rolls over... If this ticks over into the final stage without either of them... Either of them joining... I will win. We have to hope they don't join last second. Come on, France. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this, France. We're good. All right. The National Guard is about to come up. All right. Get our troops. No, you wait. Leave him there because they're coastal. So we send the Midwest guys to go push the actual line. And we will use the Dixie and New Englanders because they are coastal. They can use the, no the boats. They will do naval invasions down here. like Veracruz and Yucatan because we outnumber them substantially and war is broken out with Mexico and we're off all right Dixie HQ you're going to Veracruz which one's the Dixie uh Jessa all right and Isaac Hole Winfield Scott we outnumber them substantially, so we will roll right over them. And we want this to end as quickly as possible because we are losing $83,000 a week here. <laughs> yeah, win this as quickly as possible. How's this battle going? Very well. <laughs> oh my god. 400 to 3,000 dead. Good job, Zachary Taylor. What is that hat? Why does he got a blue hat? Mr. Antonio Lopez de Santana. Santana. Nice hat. Here comes the boys in the south. Yeah, we're going to win this way. And we have the National Guard. Which, as soon as this ticks over, increases our conscripted battalions quite a bit. All right. I don't think there's anything else. Soon you'll have an actual United States of America. Yeah, I will. How come I can see that on the screen, but I can't see that in YouTube chat? That's weird. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think I can do any other laws right now that'll help that'll be helpful. I could push for for census for universal suffrage. Bum, 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 da, da, da. 
It'll piss off the planters again, but that's fine. <laughs> Universal suffrage means everybody can vote. Yeah, look at how look at how much we're just decimating them now. Yeesh. Oh, get back down there. Nope, oh, nope, the fronts have now, have now combined. Yeah, we basically win. We just sit here and wait for victory, basically, <laughs> at this point. <clears throat> we could actually. Hit him with a couple more naval invasions. That'll take a minute. What's this? Trade route importing die. <gasps> actually, do we have any? We actually need a die import now. Buy from the British. Yep, that'll be good once that goes up. Buy some artillery from the Russians by guns. Oh my god, we need. A lot of stuff. Buy them from the French and the British. Another reason why you're not seeing my messages on YouTube. What's that? I saw that one on YouTube. Need to select the option to show all messages. Oh, why is it on top chat again? Weird. Oh, I forgot to set it back to to all to live chat when I set back up. But normally that's like the first thing I do. Thanks for reminding me. But yeah, fuck France. All my homies hate France. Agreed. Specifically, France hates us. Well, I wasn't expecting to be a international pariah this e this early on but here we are <laughs> that's fine you know if anything that gives me more in incentive to go communist later on because if you go if you go communist everyone else everyone that isn't communist will hate you and if they already hate me might as well the indian removal in accordance with the removal treaty it is time for the cherokee of north carolina to relocate to the indian territory some holdouts refuse to leave their homes, and many are poorly equipped for the journey. My friends, circumstances render it impossible that you can flourish in the midst of our community. You have but one remedy within your reach, and that is to remove West. And the sooner you do this, the sooner you will commence your career of improvement and prosperity. Uh, we can trail of tearsum and move all of the Cherokee to Oklahoma. Or we can give them some money. And less of them will die. I would like less people to die. I thought I avoided this treaty, but apparently I didn't. So let's give them some money. It's not like I'm not losing money hand over fist anyway, speaking of which. Raise taxes for a little bit. Communism. In the Soviet Union. Now the United States of America. I want the Star Swarmed Banner achievement, but my my laptop isn't actually connected to the internet, so it doesn't matter. I can't get the achievement. Hey, successful inv su successful invasion. What happened to the other one? Oh, he'll, he'll be there in just like a second. What the? Thomas Jessup and Zachary Taylor is here. Winfield Scott is here. Uh oh. Scott? Back over there. I don't know what just happened. I don't know why he. Why. Why that happened. That's bad. 
<laughs> I think that might be a problem. Well, at least they're not moving. I don't know why it moved my guy off that line and put him over here. Weird. I don't know. We're getting some shenanigans with the front lines right now. It happens. Bison hunting. The Sioux people of Sioux, Montana rely on bison for many of their basic needs. It would serve the interests of settlers in Montana if the bison population were to be depleted. Many thousands have been ruthlessly and shamefully slain every season by white hunters and tourists merely for their robes and in sheer wanton sport. And their huge carcasses left to fester and rot and their bleached skeletons to strew the deserts and lonely plains. It is what it is. This game is, uh, the military is buggy. I like this system. A lot of people don't like this system, but after playing Victoria 3 for like 100 hours, I am miserable when I go back and play earlier, like when I play like Europa Universalis or like Victoria 2. I am miserable with that military system. I hate, hate the, my, the micromanagement of the army. I like this a lot more. It's either, this is like my my opt, my op, uh, optimal system. I accept like the Imperator Rome system of automated armies. Um, which they should implement into fucking EU4. I don't know why they haven't yet. Implement automate automation of your armies in EU4. God damn it, paradox. Do it. <laughs> Make that game so much, so much more, so much more enjoyable for me because at this point I don't really like playing you for because the military, I hate the military uh, gameplay of that. Well, I don't want to slaughter the fucking bison. How many farmer pops are there in Montana? Hundred and sixty-nine people. We know you're watching. Paradox, I know you watch my streams. I'm going to make twenty people mad. Who fucking cares? I'm not killing the bison, goddammit. I love bison, they're cool. Oh hey, the the capitalists are trying to protect census suffrage. Good luck! Oh no. I'm seeing four greens. God damn it, it moved him up here. Now, whatever. I think these troops right here are garrison. So that means Mexico isn't going to move there anyway. So we can let them roam. And just conquer more land quickly. Got them at negative. Hey, they'll give up. Send over, Mexico. Hell yeah. And now we need to chill because uh, my, uh, my, 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 my money. Police brutality, uh-oh. The use of, use of extreme force is becoming increasingly common among police officers in Indiana. The working class and the socially conscious are rallying against the police as an institution. Scarcely a week passes without their committing some offense which disgusts everybody but the magistrates. Boys are bruised by their ferocity, women insulted by their ruffianism, and that which brutality has done, perjury denies. And magisterial stupidity suffers to go unpunished. Police brutality is becoming one of our most venerated institutions. We can either piss everybody in India, a bunch of people in Indiana off and make the military and the petite bourgeoisie happy. Or, we lower the level of law enforcement by one and make the farmers and the intelligentsia happy. You know what? I'll take that because I can just say it just keeps it'll just keep moving up anyway. It's fine. It doesn't matter. All right. Whew. That was a lot. I need to get rid of all this interest that I'm paying now, too.
I'd love to lower my taxes again, but now we're at a point where I can't lower my wages. That'll probably piss a lot of people off, though. Because if people start losing money, they start losing uh, their standard of living, and that makes them radical. Which we have a lot of those right now. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Now, now, now everyone is pissed at us. Oh boy. We don't need to mark Mexican uh, Mexican session anymore because they are our boys. And once this truce runs out, although probably a bit longer than that, we can just eat them in their entirety. Wait, what is this flag? Wait, is that little one star? Is that like the... <clears throat> Does that mark American Dominions? <laughs> and I like the music in this game quite a bit. Even the penis feeler song. <clears throat> that song I find mostly just funny. <laughs> What do our trade routes look like? All right, we don't need to import. We don't need to import guns or anything anymore. Right when I forgot about that song. I'll never let you forget. I love that song. <laughs> Venus. Trail of Tears, oh boy. <clears throat> the efforts to remove the Cherokee from eastern lands has led to the deaths of many during their overland march westward. Measles, cholera, starvation. This removal has created a trail of tears and death for our people. Well, we did what we could. <clears throat> Literally, that's as much as I could. Was give them the, the money to go because uh, the other option is uh, multiculturalism, and uh, it's got a it's, it's got a 66.6% opposal rate, and no one want literally no one will vote for it. Actually, agitators Ernesto Brundell, he will close my board. Ooh, wait a minute, Hugh Murray, <laughs> we could become a monarchy. Oh my God. Jakob Nieberg. Professional army, professional army. Ooh, actually, Giuseppe Mazzini. And Giuseppe Garbaldi. What's with all the Giuseppes wanting guaranteed liver? <gasps> Yevon Hrabinka. Slavery Beck. I could get a movement to enact banned slavery. Hmm. Hmm. We'll be looking at that after this universal suffrage thing ends. You think we could just straight up ban slavery? Hmm. I need more paper. Why am I selling paper? Oh, it's because it's being purposefully bought by someone else. Well, let's buy some from the Russians. Bum, bum, bum. Going on here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Remember when France declared war on Constantine over here? France fucking lost. <laughs> France! France! Bro. How's your GDP looking now that you have basically infinite money, buddy? 
<laughs> you tried, buddy. Who's in charge still? The the Orlean, yep, Orleanists. That is very amusing. Now we basically just sit and wait for our infamy to go down so we can keep moving. Hey! Level 2 for universal suffrage. We'll probably be getting that soon. How's our market look? Wow, we need some iron and some wood. Moving and grooving, hell yeah. We're moving our way. Moving my way downtown. Build another port. What's our infrastructures look like overall? Wow, ain't got, ain't, can't, ain't got no room in, ain't got no room in DC. Ain't nobody got no room in DC. Build some ports. Increase our general infrastructure on the East Coast. I think it might also be time to build a couple motor industries in Ohio. Can't have shit in Ohio except for motor industries. Let's build some railways. Choo -choo. Build a northern railway. The Northern Choo Choo Collective. Lovely. Trains are basically the main way you increase your infrastructure. Because there's always a hard cap on how, how big your ports can go, but there is no hard cap on your railway. Insert Ohio meme. Yeah, where's Plays Draws? Where's all his Ohio... His Ohio songs. Yeah, now people will start. Um, migration can only happen, like, majorly within a market. Which is basically a combined economy. So, like, the British market, the American market, French, Russian, Qing, like, yada, yada, yada. With the exception of mass migrations, which is like people from one country of like one culture will choose a region in another country that they think will they'll, they'll be able to have a better life in and they'll move there. And a lot of them will move at once. Like the Polish, like in real life, you had like Polish people moving to like Chicago, South Italians moving to New York, stuff like that. Otherwise, they can only move within the market, which by virtue of them being my my little my little head pat guy right now, Spain or Mexico and uh, Haiti are both in my market. Which means people from there and can go and come and go. And it seems to be mostly them sending my way. <laughs> Alrighty. As much as I would continue to, I would love to continue this right now. I actually have to go buy cat food before the store closes, so. Um, this is probably not going to be a thing I play back to back to back. This will probably just be a thing I play whenever I can't think of what else to do. 
<laughs> but we'll come back to it eventually. Let's make a save. Stream USA. Alrighty. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, I hope to stream again tomorrow. Um, it might actually be this tomorrow because I need to get a controller to play my Xbox. Or not, maybe I'll play Morrowind. Well, this is a nice break from Fear and Hunger. Yeah! This is a relaxing game for me. I'm a psycho and I love these types of games. Anyway, I will probably try. I will try to be back tomorrow. I have, I have a lot of work to do, so who knows if I'll be up to it, but we'll see. For now, though, I hope you all enjoyed this. I know it's different from what I have been streaming, but I used to stream these games decently regularly back in the day. But I will see you all later.